Lesson eleven. Bob drives a hard bargain. Carol from the village market calls Bob to discuss Susan's scrumptious cookies. Carol and Bob discuss how much Bob will receive for each cookie. Hi, Bob. How's it going? Fine, thanks, Carol. How are you? Can't complain. Bob, I've had a chance to crunch some numbers. I can pay you fifty cents per cookie. That's out of the question. At that price, it's not worth our while. The ingredients alone cost us thirty cents per cookie. Okay, let me sweeten the deal. Sixty cents per cookie. Carol, my wife and I need to make a living from this business. Okay, okay, you've twisted my arm. I'll pay you seventy-five cents per cookie. Take it or leave it. Now you're talking. We'll take it. You drive a hard bargain, Bob. Yes, but we make a good cookie. Let's get the ball rolling. Bring me two thousand cookies on Monday morning by nine a.m. Lesson twelve, Bob's big cookie order. The family is gathered around the dinner table. Bob tells them about his deal with the village market. He asks his kids for help baking the cookies. I know I've been down in the dumps since I got fired, but things are looking up now. The village market wants to sell our cookies. That's great news, Dad. But we're going to have to bake like crazy over the weekend. They want two thousand cookies by Monday. Two thousand cookies in three days? Don't you think you've bitten off more than you can chew? Yeah, you're going to be running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Fortunately, there are four of us here. You kids will have to pitch in too. Sorry, but I can't. I have to finish Ted's chemistry homework. Then I've got to get going on my election speech. What's that about doing Ted's chemistry homework? Never mind. Amber will help out with the cookies instead of Nicole. For heaven's sake, Nicole! It's like pulling teeth getting you to do any work around here. Lesson thirteen: Amber comes over to bake cookies. Ted's girlfriend, Amber, comes over to help with the cookies. Amber has experience baking cookies from a former job. Susan leaves the kitchen so they can work better. Mom, Amber is here to lend a hand with the cookies. Hi, Amber. Nice to see you again. Good to see you too, Mrs. Johnson. That's an interesting hairstyle. Thanks. I'm glad you think it's cool. Blue hair is all the rage this season. Well, I'm going to take a break now and let you kids take over. Don't worry, Mom. Your business is in good hands with Amber. She really knows her stuff. That's true. I used to work at Miss Fields Cookies in the mall. You don't work there anymore? Well, no, I got fired. I have a real sweet tooth, and they told me I was eating too many cookies. Well, I'm sure you haven't lost your touch. It might be a bit out of practice. Mom, you can watch Amber bake if you want. You might pick up a few tricks of the trade. Yes, feel free. As a singer, I'm used to performing before an audience. Thanks, but I'm going to get out of the way. You know what they say: too many cooks spoil the broth. Will I see you later tonight? Yes, I'll be back in a few hours. Mom, why don't you just call it a night and go to bed? You've been working your tail off all day. Lesson fourteen: Amber and Ted heat up the kitchen. Amber and Ted are in the kitchen baking cookies. Amber asks Ted to give her a kiss, but Ted tells her he's too busy. Then he feels guilty and goes to her, but suddenly they're not alone. Ted, when I met you, it was love at first sight. I was nuts about you from the beginning too, Amber. Don't forget, I broke up with that girl Tiffany after I met you. Come here and give me a kiss. Give me a break, Amber. We don't have time for that now. We need to crank out these cookies. You don't really love me, do you? Amber, I'm head over heels in love with you, but it's crunch time with these cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies! You've got a one-track mind. He loves cookies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amber, I need to keep working, but you can take a break if you want. No, I'll keep plugging away. I'm just your cookie slave.
Go ahead. Treat me like dirt. Sorry, Amber. Come here and let me give you a quick kiss. Hey, what's going on in here? Are you two making cookies or making out? Lesson 15. Nicole practices her election speech. Nicole is running for student body president. She must give a speech next week. She discusses this speech with her mother. What's up, Nicole? I pulled an all-nighter working on my election speech. No wonder you look like a basket case. Did you finish your speech? Yes, at 6 a.m. That must be a load off your mind. It's not. I've got to give the speech tomorrow in front of 1,500 people. I'm a nervous wreck. Just remember the old rule of thumb. Imagine your audience naked. That's gross. Why would I want to do that? According to conventional wisdom, it'll make you less nervous. Only practice will do the trick. Okay, let's hear the speech. Good afternoon, everyone. There are four candidates running for president. You think you have several choices. In reality, you have just one choice. Me. <laughs> you can't say that. You'll turn off your audience immediately. It sounds like I have a big head. I'll say.